Okay, so I really need an intro for this video. I've been trying to think of one, but it just hasn't been coming to me. But then dad just got in the hot tub and he's kind of old now, so he struggles to hear. So I thought why not scare him and try to get like a really big reaction out of him. So that's what I'm gonna do. Gotta get like my detective face on. Gotta try to be as quiet as possible. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stupid. Caleb, I don't have a shirt on. What's going on everybody? It's Caleb back with another video. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I was absolutely stumped on what video to post this week. I asked you all on Instagram what video you guys would prefer. Option number one, life of a quarantine basketball player. Or option number two, my high school basketball transformation story. And let's just say it was clear what you all wanted to see. Also, if you're not following the gram, you probably should do that. Link in bio. You guys have absolutely been killing it on the support lately. At the time I'm recording this, I'm at 529 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload, it would mean a lot to me. I'm really curious to see how fast we could hit 600 subscribers. So if you guys could help me out on that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Be sure to smash the like button so I know that you are liking the content I'm putting out. Also, comment down below what you guys are thinking of the channel so far. Thank you guys again, and let's get into today's video. All right, so so we're starting off on my freshman year. This was definitely an adjustment year for me, for sure. At the time, I was about 4'11", 100 pounds. As you can see, I was a pretty tiny kid. I wasn't quite ready for the varsity scene just yet. However, I started junior varsity and dressed on the varsity bench. This was pretty tough for me, if I'm being completely honest. I went from being the guy in junior high that scored the most points almost every game to becoming the last guy on the varsity bench. I had to accept a completely different role than what I was used to, and that was to be the most enthusiastic bench warmer of all time. And as you can see, I eventually embraced it. Freshman year helped me realize that sometimes you gotta be willing to accept roles that are best for the team and I took that realization and applied it to every year since freshman year I really just tried to focus on developing my game and skill set I realized at this point I couldn't control what my body was or wasn't doing but I could control my work ethic so I really just started focusing on that sophomore year you could say was a growth in more way than one I grew about five inches and was about five four at this time I probably was at like 120 pounds which was still very tiny for my age but it was a start I also just got off an AAU experience where I got to play against great competition and I had to work for every minute I got this taught me that I had to work extremely hard to achieve the basketball goals I had set for myself. So I spent the rest of my summer developing my game. I really developed an outside shot, which was good for me. Going into my sophomore season, I was named the starting varsity point guard. I was absolutely pumped about that. My role was to be a true point guard, which honestly was fine with me because I feel like that's one of my best roles. I had multiple offensive threats around me, so it was my job to get them the ball in positions to where they could score. By the end of the year, I averaged about six points. So I definitely wasn't a standout player like I had hoped to be at this point. However, my dreams hadn't changed and I was determined to work hard that off season and really turn some heads my junior year. Now the summer going into my junior year was absolutely huge for me. I found a great AU team that accepted me for me all five five of me I was able to improve my individual game while also making some great friendships along the way I gained some confidence which really helped me make a big jump my junior year my role junior year was to pick up some of the scoring load however Cooper was still on my team he was a four-year starter and a 1,000 point scorer so the offense definitely ran through him at the time and my main job was to get him the ball in position to where he could be successful my team ended up doing really well that year we made it to the district final game for only the second time in school history I believe we had the most winning this season in the last like 16 years at the time I got the opportunity to play at the convocation center at OU which was really cool it's been a dream of mine ever since I moved to Jackson. I finished the season averaging about 14 points a game along with like four assists. So it was a decent stat line for my junior year. I definitely wanted to improve even more, but I was proud of myself and my team for what we accomplished. It really showed me that a straight off season of hard work will come with results. So I took this knowledge and I turned it up a notch and it made all the difference my senior year. During that off season going into my senior year, I woke up every morning before school at 5.30 a.m. I would go to the local YMCA and get a weight session in along with some shooting and free throws afterwards. I then went to school, did my stuff there. And then shortly after school, I was back in the the gym doing a full basketball workout with my dad he's a legend this quickly became my everyday routine and it really paid off for me i had to accept the lead scoring role for my team this was definitely an adjustment for me the previous three years my role was really just to be a true point guard and now this year it was to be a true point guard plus be the leading scorer on the team so when my coach told me i had to average about 17 points a game it made me a bit nervous at first but then i accepted it head on i was about 5 8 now and i was more confident than ever i finished the season averaging 23 points a game along with five assists a game so after an off season of focused hard work i made a nine point per game jump along with that i hit the 1,000 point milestone, which was a dream come true for me. I also broke a school record for most regular season wins in a season with my brothers. That was definitely an experience I will never forget. I began to pick up more accolades than anybody ever probably thought I would. I won Coaches District Player of the Year, Sports Rider District Player of the Year, League Player of the Year, and I was named First Team All State. I was the first player under six foot to make the first team or second team All State list, so that was pretty cool. I feel extremely blessed to be at the point where I'm at today. I think sometimes people think when it comes to basketball, everything came easy to me, but I have definitely had to face a lot of adversity along the way. Being underestimated my whole life, 
life has made some things difficult. I was often overlooked because of my physical stature, which was frustrating to me because that was something out of my control and I've been controlling everything I could as far as working hard goes. However, I'm thankful because being the shortest kid in every gym I've ever walked into has really shaped the career I've had. And I'm not sure if I'd be at the point I am today without having those doubters because of my size. And it's truly pushed me to work harder every year. So that's gonna do it for the video. I know this video was more of a story rather than like an entertainment video, but it's something that you guys wanted and I hope it can inspire some of you guys. The truth is hard work comes with results. So no matter how doubted you may feel, if you put in the work, the results will come. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. Also comment down below what you guys are thinking of the channel so far. I would greatly appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. I love you all. Thanks again. And until next time, peace.